In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to render out and export uh, animated graphics so that you have a transparent background. Uh, this is great for items like lower thirds or other kind of animated motion graphics. They're being directly layered on top of your video footage. So let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that whatever asset you are wanting to have a transparent background actually has a transparent background. So um, if you have this black background like such, what I would recommend you doing is just toggle on your transparent background grid just to ensure that you can see the transparent background. And uh, if you do see this, that means that those as this asset um, is transparent. So once you've confirmed that, then we can go ahead and render this out. So to do that, you'll make sure that you're on the composition that you want to render out and then go to composition up here in the top and select add to render queue. From here, you can select best settings. Make sure these are set to your best settings. Uh, I never really touch this stuff. I leave it as is, but go ahead and hit okay. The next one is the important one and that's this option right here. So we'll click this um, text to bring up our um, output module settings and then what we want to do is make sure we are selected on QuickTime and the important area that we're looking for is this right here this RGB plus alpha um, some codecs allow you to render RGB some allow you to render only alpha and some will let you render both RGB and alpha and the codec that we're currently using will not allow us to do that so we need to change uh, our codec so let's do that we'll come over here to format options we'll select that and uh, there's two um, codecs that I prefer to use for these kind of animated overlays with transparency and that is the animation codec and the Apple ProRes 4444 codec I prefer to use this one most of the time just because I do a lot of ProRes rendering um, but either one is good so I'll go ahead and select mine get OK and then from here the last step we need to do is just double check that we are now on RGB and alpha once you have that set up go ahead and hit OK then we'll select this output 2 we'll label our uh, file however you want I already have rendered this out a couple times from some practice runs I'll hit save and now all we need to do is hit render uh, and then um, what I'll show you is after I hit this I'll take it over to Premiere and show you how to kind of layer it on so let's go okay so now we're in Adobe Premiere and all we have to do is import the animation overlay that we just exported and what you'll do is just click it click and drag onto the timeline and just above your video footage and then to preview it I'm just gonna click and scrub on the timeline to see it animate on text comes on stays there a minute and then collapses and disappears all the shapes and the text are nice and crisp and uh, clean this looks good and now we can continue to reuse this for all of our videos um, to keep up that brand consistency and make our life just a little bit easier by having reusable assets uh, if you like this tutorial please give us a like and subscribe if you want to learn more about after effects please check out one of our other videos thanks for watching